Hi, my name's Brian and I live near Kibler, Arkansas. I have a small pond in my backyard. It's kind of like in a semi-greenhouse. I got my pond from Lowe's. You won't see it in the store. You have to order it off of Lowe's.com and have it shipped to your nearest Lowe's. Home Depot doesn't have this particular pond. <laughs> Neither does Ace Hardware. It's 260 gallons, it's 6 feet across in diameter, and it's 18 inches deep. Here in Arkansas, last night, uh, this is November 23rd, we had our deepest freeze of the season so far in 2015. Well, for the fall season. Coming out of winter earlier this year, we, <laughs> we had our freezes, but for now, our temperatures went down to about 16 degrees last night and our water temperature in the ponds uh, it left a sheet of ice on top of the pond and it's melted now but the water temperature went down to freezing obviously I have some placostomuses uh, in my pond and I wasn't able to get them out last night so I feared they died frozen to death I was reading some blogs yesterday about people who had plecos in their ponds and some of them survived cold weather uh, a couple of bouts a couple of nights of cold freezing temperatures but these ponds that these people had were in ground and rather deep maybe six to eight feet so the bottom water probably didn't freeze or, you know, or not pro solid anyway this particular pond I have just had an ice sheet on top so the water under the ice was not frozen solid but still just a degree above freezing it was very very cold I came out this morning to get my uh, plecos out of the pond and try to warm them slowly to see if I could save their lives so this is a video blog experiment on trying to save my plecos after one night of deep freeze let me take you for a tour of my pond real quick I have a greenhouse kind of like this with chicken wire all around it to keep the uh, raccoons and possums out because they like to come in and get my fish. This is the pond. Again, six feet across, 18 inches deep. I have a Marine Land 360 filter from PetSmart. They're available at Petco or PetSmart. I have it going into a five gallon bucket of a homemade filter system so that I can have the water splash into the pond for aeration for more air for the fish. I have 19 koi and goldfish in here. There's butterfly koi, there's goldfish, but I had four placostomuses in here. They did fine all summer, all spring. It's just that this freeze came and I didn't have a chance to get my plecos out before the freeze came. Our uh, ambient temperature right now inside this little shack is uh, 40 degrees, about 41. It was 16 this morning before the sun come up. I have, uh, as you can see, plastic roof. Again, from Lowe's. Everything I got was from Lowe's. They're about $20 a sheet for an eight foot sheet and the sun's coming through this that uh, really warms us up in here uh, in the summertime I have it open like this with the windows so that the air you know you can blow out the hot air with a fan and keep it from getting super hot in here but uh, in the winter time you can use plastic sheets to cover the windows here to keep any heat in if you absolutely want to. But the koi and the goldfish, your goal is to keep your pond from freezing solid. If it freezes solid, you're gonna lose them. If you can maintain some water at the bottom, at least a good half of it, unfrozen, your goldfish and your koi will make it through the winter. So you may wanna get a, a heater, uh, some kind of apparatus to keep your pond from freezing solid. These above ground ponds will freeze solid if the temperatures stay in the teens for a long period of time. Okay, anyway, 
my goal is to save my placostomuses, so I scooped them out and I put them in pond water from the pond. They were frozen solid this morning and floating just like dead. And this is an experiment to see if they live. So uh, I brought them in the house in some buckets in put them in the house so that they can start warming up with the ambient temperature of the house slowly. You want to warm them up about or, 10 degrees know, per hour them to your aquarium temperature to put them back in the house for the uh, winter. Here's my four right here, Plecos. There's this little guy. Again, they are frozen solid. This is pond water that they were in. It's a good sized Pleco there. They haven't even made a sign of moving yet, so they've been in here about half an hour, maybe 45 minutes. I have the lids slightly on here. Uh, if they do become unfrozen and start wiggling around, they're liable to jump, because they will jump. So there they are. And they're slowly getting warmer. And we're going to let them just be here and see if any of them live. Again, they were frozen solid this morning. Today's high temperature is about 43. But on the sun side of the house where the sun's shining, uh, I brought the buckets out on the porch where it's in direct sunlight. And like if you feel the chair, the wall, you can feel the insulation of the heat coming in from the sun so being in the sun uh, they're gonna warm a little bit faster now still hopefully about 10 degrees per hour um, being in the direct sun hopefully they'll heat up to about maybe 50 60 degrees which is about 10 degrees lower than the aquarium the 55 gallon tank 55 gallon tank is about 70 to 72 right now so again we're not trying to raise their temperature quick because they were frozen solid <laughs> so you got to raise their temperature slowly uh, to save their lives so we'll check back in a little bit okay this is day three all four of my placostomuses are dead. They did not survive that first freeze. With this one right here is about a year old. That one right there is about a year old. This one right here is about seven months. And that one's about eight months. Again, we tried to gently warm their water at about 10 degrees per hour or even less than that. We tried warming them for 24 hours and then 48 hours. Uh, they are hard. Their bodies are hard right now. But their underbellies are starting to uh, deteriorate. The soft underbellies. Placostomuses. All the four species are all going to pretty much react the same. If you have an outside pond and you're experiencing your first freeze, you better hope it's deep. Mine was only 18 inches and 6 feet across, a typical Lowe's pond above ground. And when I fetched them out of the pond, they were frozen like a rock, <laughs> solid. So this is an information video for those that have plecos, those that have plecos in their pond. Get them out and put them in the house for the winter and then put them back out in the spring. That's about all you can do. So.